welcome back folks to the channel I'm going to do a bit of a video on this Japanese machine um, can't see it playing out to be honest I've already last time I played it I think I emptied it but uh, you never know um, it's on tuppence I'll convert this to two pair go well it's uh, two coins two co uh, sorry three coins per play so it's like six pence to go but obviously two pairs are cheaper than the tokens um, when you can get them in of course got a couple of bent ones there this one's general see how we go uh, pull the plunger Chance means sometimes it's, uh, you're going to get a jackpot. We don't know what's happening. All right, there we go. Bad guy. Right, I've had to uh, just on free a jam. So I'm going to see if I can get the feature going. This guy, he's a bad guy. These are the good guys. Try and get one back. He's gonna hit them again. That'll probably kill him off. So I gotta get one in. Bang! Bullseye! Uh oh. Hmm. Oh, still, yeah, got him. Still them. Should be a guaranteed win. And it wasn't. That's why they get rid of the Japanese machines after so many years. I think a couple of years after get rid of them. Make a win there. Play, that's what it's called. Got the bad guy again. Get one in, son. I suppose you've got no power. <laughs> I'm not going to do a long video for you uh, with these folks. I'll have another 50 credits. I'll just load it up. Right, so 50 credits. There we go again. Yeah. If you got 50 credits in and you get a win, it pays out automatically. And it pays out in uh, two foods. And when you get to the feature you go in, you'll probably end up with this tray for one overflowing. And sometimes you get two or three um, in consecutive, you know, one after the other. You end up having to empty the tray out manually. Subsequently, the hopper is empty. The hole 
think it holds about a thousand coins. That should be the old bad guy again. on the old LCD there. It's quite old this machine is. Super girl. Second chance. Third chance. Got away with it. Dog's going across the screen there. Last chance. Oh, should we have another few guys? Uh, why not? Three of those in the line, in any position, or oh, three sevens in any position. Guess the piece you're going. Or oh, you get those as well. Skill stop, you have to press it yourself. It's not, it's no skill to it, really. It's, the computer knows exactly where it's going to stop. And some of these uh, Japanese machines, you can get an auto stop kit, so it um, it does stop like a normal fruit machine. And you import those from America. Well, I think we'll leave it there, folks. That's um. Quite a sort after game, Bomber Powerful. There's not many of those about, to be honest, because it's quite an old game. Um, and it's made by a company called Sanyo. Or Sanyo, one of the two. <laughs> Bomber Powerful. Not very happy. Uh, we'll have a quick go on the one next to it. Okay, so I was going to have a go on uh, this one. Go, go, go. Patricia um I ain't played it for quite a quite a while, at least a few years I'd say. And I'm getting the error code there, error six. Um so if anybody's got a Japanese machine, I've just uh 
I'll just Google how to fix it. I'm hoping it will do the job. I mean, it all looks like it's working, but don't take coins. Doesn't do anything really. Uh, and you got E6 there. So basically, what I have to do is open the door. Normally, you can you reset it by putting your key in and just turning it to the left, and it fixes a lot of the problem. But in this case, it doesn't work. So unlock it and open the door. And then when the door is open. I'm going to put the lights on so I can sort of there. Um, and down here you've got the main power supply of all the gubbins in. Open the door there. And what you do is you turn the machine off with that switch. And in here, there's a little red switch there. So that's actually the reset. A lot of the time there'll be a key there. In this case, there's no key. Uh, so what you do then is you switch that on. And then switch that on. Okay, and then we get a one there, and we have. I don't know if you can see that there, folks. So I should turn the lights off. That should be zero. And then down here at the front, I've got like a plunger there. And you just press that down, and it goes to zero. And then go back to your main switch and just put the light back on again. Master switch. And then switch the switch back on. So it turns the main power back on. Oh, wait a minute, I've done it wrong. <laughs> Box. But in any case, folks, uh, I've reset the machine. It should work now. I've managed to get rid of the error code. Um, I'm just going to sort you through what I did again. Um, so obviously if you've got E6 or any error codes there and the turn of the key to the left doesn't fix it and you open the door, you switch the machine off at the switch. So, I mean, they're not all the same as this, by the way, but this, this is the case. You switch it off there. If you've got a switch like that, click it on so it's on. So it's on zero now. It's on. Or turn the key to the right. There used to be a key, and they've replaced it with a switch. And then switch the machine back on, and then you'll have a one on that display there. You should say zero. And then when you shut your door, you just press that plunger there, reset to zero, goes from one to zero. And then all you do then is switch that red button back to zero, and the machine should boot back on. Now let's just see if it works. I'll shut the door. No reason why it shouldn't. I mean, I've, I've got a few coins in the tray. Um, I mean, it should all be lit up, really. It's all in darkness, and it, may, it might not light up until I put the coins in. No. <laughs> it still don't work. Okay. I'm assuming that means there's a malfunction. <laughs> right, so let's do it all again. Do another reset. So, switch the machine off. I'm just going to uh, put the torch back on. Switch the machine off. And then, obviously, put your key in and turn it to the right, like the arrow put says, or switch it on. And then switch the machine on. And you've still got the arrow key there, look, one. And then, if I do that with a plunger, I'm just going to press that knob down. I'm going to press it down, and that should change to zero. It has, and then all you do is then go to the switch and turn it off or turn the key to the left. I don't think it's done anything still. Oh, it does. Oh, I'm back in business. That looks better. Now the rules are lit up, and that should. All the buttons are lit. That should have reset it. I mean, I've never. I ever had to do that, so yeah, I've done that on camera. Oh, look at that. You know, a lot of people sell these on eBay, connect to nothing because they've got error codes. You can pick the top of a cheap machine, um, follow the instructions on the YouTube, and then it should be away. This is a, a token machine, a um, Japanese machine. Um, also works on 10 pences, um, but it's not brilliant on the 10 p's. And also convert it to 2 p's, 
and again uh, it doesn't play that well with they tend to stick a lot so you're always on jamming this one here works fine on two players it's a great little game that one which you've just seen so well, let's try it And you can stop them in any order. You can do three, two, one. Oh, here we go, a little feature going out. You gotta get three in a row there. Ah! Oh. Nine, nine, nine. Well, I don't know what the hell that means. I've never had it before. Jackpot. This is the jackpot mode. Uh, I've got to remember how to play this. Alright, oh yeah. Get the racing car off, so follow the buttons. The rules are telling you which ones to press. Oh, it went the wrong way, didn't I? Uh, there he goes into another feature now. I'm going to hit 50 credits now, it's going to pay out. Uh, back on there again. All right. Follow the instructions. Right, left to right, right to left. Left to right. And then you have to put the key in, and you've got the jackpot. The guy will come out and put your key in and reset the machine. And that's reset now. And then you just basically carry on. Um, looks like it's still working. And there it is, folks. Go, go, go. Japanese machine. Reset, and they're working again. Thanks for watching, folks.